everyone, welcome to Taji's World of Books and welcome to another book recommendation video. Hey you guys, welcome back. So I was trying to think up something that I could provide you with and I thought, why don't we do, since we're still in quarantine, but getting out of quarantine, why don't we do a binge worthy book recommendation video? So like those books that once you pick up book one, you're just gonna be like, whew, right on through them. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. I'm gonna stick them over here so that you can see. Every book that I'm gonna mention in this video is a series of books. In some of them, I'll try to tell you how many books there are and if they're spinoffs. In some of them, I won't go and research them. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the description bar below, but I'm just going to, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go through a great detail of like every book. I'm just gonna tell you the tropes. I'm gonna tell you basically what they're about. I'm gonna give you a little teaser and a little taste, but I'm gonna tell you that every book on this, in this recommendation video is at least a four out of five star, if not a five out of five star. I'm gonna say that, because they're all really good. That's why you binge them. Okay, you get them like, no, 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 like candy. Okay, so. Number one, in no particular order, I'm gonna say is the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I absolutely, I think like after I finish this and I have another book review I can put over here to links if you guys are interested in checking it out, that after I finished that series, I was like, I didn't know I liked hockey players like that. I was like, Ooh, I am so excited about these hockey players. So what I love about this is that the series is an ongoing plot line I love most of these have ongoing plot lines with each individual book is a standalone for each individual couple that has ends in an HEA. And when I say it has ongoing plot lines, I mean, you, these are a group of friends that are all together. They're on the same team. You see them throughout the books. They come up because they interact and they talk and they're friends and they're teammates. And so you get to see not only what happened with them in their individual books, but also you see them in other people's books and how things are progressing as well. So in the off-campus series, it's a sports hockey romance. I'm gonna say it probably would fall under a rom-com. It's college, it's new adult. So there are a number of different tropes in each of the books. You're gonna get my brother's best friend. You're gonna get second chance romance. You're gonna get drug abuse and using drugs to cope. You're gonna have books where somebody has a past trauma and they're trying to work through that trauma and how does that impact relationships and how does that impact the HEA happening and can the HEA happen as a result. You're also gonna see broken heroes. You're gonna see fuck boys and like man whores and like trying to revamp reputations and it's fun and it's fast paced and it's easy reading and written well and you just gobble it up like nobody's business. Second series is a very similar series. If you like sports romances, I'm gonna say Helena Hunting's Pucked series. I absolutely loved it. It's a rom-com for sure. Again, same sort of, if, I feel like if you like off campus, you're gonna like Puck because they're very, very similar. Again, you see each of the characters uh, together in the book. Each book ends with that character, but you see them in other books, so you see how they develop. They all are very close. Some of the latter books are heavier because you do have severe, severe broken heroes that are trying to recover from familial dynamics. Again, off campus and pucked, exchangeable. Okay, let me go into the next one. The Beautiful Bastard series by Christina Lauren. Again, it's a rom-com. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit. It follows Chloe, and she's a hardworking NBA student that basically comes into a situation where she has a very demanding, attractive boss, Bennett. So instantly, this is an enemies to lovers. This is a workplace romance. It's like she, there's there's chemistry, but there's banter, and they're just angry, and you know they're gonna work through all of the difficulties because they're drawn to each other. So it's gonna be very angsty. But again, it's workplace romance. They're easy, easy, easy to get through. You're gonna gobble them up because they just are easy to read. Okay, so then the next book in the series is Neilani Singh's. The Psy Changeling series. This is a little bit more complicated in that each book for sure has, follows couples, HEA, but there is an ongoing plot that's developing over time. It's about the, it's a shifter series, it's a faded mate. It is a story in a futuristic society 
where you've got these psi that are very auto automaton right and they don't have emotion and they don't display their emotion and then you got changelings that are shifters and part animal depending on what which shifter they are. And so these two are coming together because they're evolving and changing. The psi are changing, the psi are developing new types of emotions and new types of powers that they're developing, but they're at an ongoing war between them. And so you're seeing how things develop over time. And again, it's binge worthy, they're easy to read. If you love Faded Mates, if you like that instant attraction, if you like um, with shifter series where you meet your your faded mate and you know instantly and you're willing to go to the ends of the earth with these alpha males that are really protective then the side changeling series is for you so then i'm going to go on and shift directions a little bit and go into carrie and cole ashes and ember series i absolutely love these books these are rock star romances and it is one band and it's all the different bandmates in the series and each book has a hea again you get to see all the characters throughout it's a group of friends there are different tropes broken hero second chances bad boy reform it gives you everything and I absolutely loved and you, you you're gonna have your favorite characters you know whether it be Talon or whether it be Storm you know or it just it gives you so much you've got forced proximity in the first book because they kind of get stranded as a result of a de you know a snowstorm so it just they're so easy to read there's a couple spin-off series that are in the same world. Carrion is still writing books that are in the same world. Again, they are so easy to read and so binge worthy and so good. It gives you everything and then some. So then I'm gonna go into dark romance. I'm gonna talk about Pepper Winters, the Dollar series. You guys have heard me talk about this book, these books a number of times because I absolutely love them. They are dark romances. That first book is a bitch to read. There's trigger warnings, check it out. It is very, very difficult. There is trafficking in these books. There is torture, there is abuse. But as the books progress and Pimlico's story develops with Elder Priest, it is a beautiful, beautiful story. It is about mental illness, it's about OCD, it's about recovering from trauma, it's about two broken people and what do they mean to each other and revealing secrets and understanding and depth and longing and being willing to go to the ends of the earth for the person that you care about to protect them and keep them safe because you know that they've been through so much and they need you. It's a beautiful story, I absolutely love it. I cannot recommend it enough. You're gonna thank me for that. Okay, number seven is the Morgan Brothers series. This is Lauren Rowe. These are rom-cons. The Morgan Brothers are a family, so there are a number of brothers in the family. Each book, again, follows a different couple. You definitely get a happy ever after, but you see the couples in each of the respective books. Again, you have different tropes. You have a broken hero. You have a second chance. You have bad boys. You have a rock star romance. You have a bodyguard romance. I, my favorite book in the series is Ball Peen Hammer because I absolutely love him. It is so funny and the banter between their couple is just absolutely amazing and you see the growth and the development and you see how close the family is and how close the brothers are and how can you not like they just are i think the spin-off is the reed uh reed reed winters reed weed the Reed something, Simmons, Reed, I can't remember his last name, Reed's Trilogy. So those are his story. And so I think that she also, Lauren Rowe, has published recently a couple of other books, two other books that are spinoffs from the Reed Withers, Reed story, whatever. So you can go and check those out as well. Okay, so then I'm going to go into another dark romance, Ruthless Prince by Faith Summers. Okay, so this is a dark syndicate series. It's a standalone mafia story. It's an enemies to lovers, arranged marriage, again, which you have with mafia romances. Um, you definitely have an HEA. There are no cliffhangers in the book, but you're going to see the characters. There's only two books in the series. The second book is Dark Captor. So note that there are trigger warnings, there are mature content, there's graphic violence, anything that goes along with mafia romances. And if you're gonna be offended, don't read them. But for those of us who love mm, dark stuff, it gives us everything and the feels and then some. Like I said, there are two books in the series. Go ahead and check it out. And then the last series that I'm gonna recommend is Tice. And this is 
uh, Dark Odyssey. It's a dark billionaire mafia romance. There are five books in the series. Book one is Entice. It's a standalone, like I said, it's a dark, dark billionaire romance. And it takes place in the Dark Odyssey Club. So um, there is like a little bit of fantastical element to it as well. But if you love drool-worthy alpha heroes, like if you want a steamy ride, if you want to be on the edge of your seat, if you want to just gobble up the pages because you're just like, oh, because you gave all the tingles and all the feels, dive right on in because this is going to give you that and then some. So you guys... That are the nine recommendations. I get random, like I ended on nine. I guess I could end on ten and say we could go back to Cora Riley because Cora Riley and her whole series is like I I gobbled that up too. So if you want to, if for those of you who like things to end cleanly, then Cora Riley. But for all of the rest of us, those are the recommendations that I have. I tried to make sure that I gave you all a little bit of something. So from Roncon to dark to, you know, new adult college, I feel like there's something in there for everybody. And tell me your binge worthy series. I'm always looking out for new series and I would love to hear more from you guys. So Give me, give me, give me your best recommendations. Hit me up, hit me up. I'm all in, I'm all in. All right, you guys, thank you so much. You know that I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Please like and subscribe so you can come and hang out. And you know the other thing I don't tell you guys is hit that bell, that notification, so you know when I'm uploading new videos so you can watch and tune in. All right, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.